Hello students. Our lesson is some basic geometrical ideas. In this lesson, we have discussed point, line segment, line, ray, etc. Now we are discussing about a curve. What is a curve? See the dotings. That is a simple drawing. See here. See, one, two, three, four. In this we can see one, two, four. One, two, four are simple curves. But three is not simple because here two curves closed is coming. In fifth standard you learn open and closed curves. This is open the curve. This is closed curve. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between these two figures? What is the difference between these two figures? Figure 1, figure 2. You know, this is closed. This is open. Listen to the board. is a closed curve. See here a point A, here a point B, here a point C. Then we can say A is inside the curve, B is outside the curve and C is on the curve. So, or we can say a is interior of the curve. B is exterior of the curve. B is interior. Interior. B is exterior. Exterior. C is boundary. Boundary of the curve. Interior. Exterior and boundary. Then, see here. The interior of the curve, the interior of the curve, together with its boundary. This is the boundary. Together with its boundary is called region. Is called region. Interior of the curve together with its boundary is called region. This is the area. Region. So this is called region. This is a closed curve. Here this point A is interior. This point B is exterior. This point C is on the boundary. And the interior of the curve together with its boundary is called the region. Next is polygons. Polygons are made up of line segments. See here. This is a polygon. This is a polygon. These all polygons. These are made of made with the line segments. Then what is an angle? That you have learned. Angle. Listen, we have learned rays. OA. OA is a ray. OB is another ray. Here making an angle. That is AOB. This angle is AOB. 
that is O A and Re O A and Re O B are called arms. That all you learned in fifth standard. Anyway, Re O A, Re O B are called arms. And O E is the vertex. O E is the vertex. See, this angle that means made up of two rays. That is ray O A and O B. Here O A and O B are arms. O E is the vertex. Next is triangle. How can we draw a triangle? See, these are three lines. Using these three lines we can make a triangle. A, B, C. In this A, B, C. So, the sides, the sides of a triangle is line segment A, B, line segment B, C, Line segment and line segment CA are the sides. Then angles are angle CAB, angle ABC, angle ABC. This is the angle. Angle ABC and angle BCA. Angle BCA. These are the angles formed here. Then the point A, B, C are called vertices. Are called vertices. A is a vertex, B is a vertex, and C is a vertex. So A comma B comma C are the vertices of this triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. How can we write triangle ABC? This is triangle ABC. So, triangle ABC, these are the line segments or sides of the triangle. Then these are the angles of the triangle. These are the vertices. A, B, C. So, we can say a triangle is the polygon with least number of sides. This is a polygon with the least number of sides. How many sides here? Three sides. So this is a three-sided polygon. This is a three-sided polygon that is a triangle. Next is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral. A quadrilateral means a four-sided polygon. A four-sided polygon. Four-sided polygon. This is a polygon with four sides. That is called a quadrilateral. This A, B, C, D. See the sides are Line segment AB, line segment AB, line segment BC and line segment CD, then line segment, then line segment DA. Here the sides are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment CD and line segment DA. Here the four angles are angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. These are four angles. These are four sides and these are four angles. That is a quadrilateral. Then side AB and side BC. Side AB and Side BZ are adjacent sides. Adjacent sides. Adjacent sides. 
then side AB and side DZ are opposite sides. Are opposite sides. So side DA, side AB are adjacent sides. Side AD and side BZ are opposite sides. Adjacent and opposite. Here these two sides are adjacent. These two sides are opposite. From this see the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Here angle A and angle B are called adjacent angles. Angle A and angle B or angle B and angle C or angle C and angle D or angle D and angle A are adjacent angles. Then angle A and angle C are opposite angles. Angle B and angle D are opposite angles. Here adjacent angles and opposite angles. Here adjacent angles then opposite angles. These two are opposite angles. Okay. Adjacent and opposite. Once more I say this is a quadrilateral that is PQRS. In this quadrilateral we can say line segment. The sides are line segment PQ, QR, RQ, RS and SP. These are the sides. Angles are angle P, angle Q, angle R and angle S. Then which are the adjacent sides? Side PQ and side QR or side RS, side RS, side SP. That are the then more which are other SP and PQ. These all adjacent sides. Then which are adjacent angles? Angle P, angle Q. These are adjacent. Then angle Q, angle R. Then angle R, angle S. Then angle S, angle P. These are adjacent angles. Then which are opposite sides? Opposite sides are side PQ, side SR. Side QR and side PS. Or which are opposite angles? Angle P, angle R. Angle Q, angle S. Okay, is it clear? Circle. A circle is a simple closed curve. We know what is simple closed curve. Then a circle has special properties. Here this is the center. Center C. Then this is the circumference. Center. Then circumference. This is the circumference of the circle. This is the circumference. Here, the distance from the center to the circumference. Here, point A is called radius. Is called radius. Then, the line joining through the center is called Diameter is called diameter. So, C is the center, 
CA is the radius, AB is the diameter. We know diameter is twice the radius. The length of the diameter is twice the radius. See? A, B, C and D. C, B is, is a, this is what? A radius. This is also radius. So, we can draw many radii. Many radii we can draw. Okay, this is also a radius. This is all radius. Okay. Here, a line joining from A to D. A line joining from A to D is called code. Is called code. You can draw here a code like this. A C. A code. So, here we discussed center. Center C. Circumference, this is the circumference, radius, diameter and code. Then, arc. What is an arc? Arc. See, we know arc is a part of a circle. Arc is, this is a circle, listen. Center C, here a point A, B. We can say this is a part of a circle. This is the part of this circle that is arc AB. Denoted as arc AB. Read it as arc AB. See, arc is a Part of a circle. Or we can say, now is a portion of a circle. This AB, this is a, the portion of the circle. Center C, A and B are the points on the circumference. Here we are joining like this. These are the radius. We are like, joining like this. We get like this portion. This is the radius AB. Okay, the radius AC and CB. Here, this portion is called, this portion is called sector. C is the center. B, C is the radius. B, C and A, C are radii. Then this portion, the shaded portion is called a sector. A sector is a portion that is in between an arc and two radii. Arc and two radii. Is called a sector. A portion enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides is called a sector. See here a point D. And E. Joining we get a chord. Here the region. See here. A region in the interior of the circle. A region Interior of a circle enclosed by a cord and an arc. And an arc. This is the cord, this is the arc. 
This region is called segment. This region is called segment. So, this is called the sector. This is called segment. This is arc. This is radial. These two radiate. This is a chord. This is an arc. 